Periscope. Thanks for joining us for our fourth class. I'm with Rhonda today. Say hello. <laughs> hello. Rhonda's awesome. She's been practicing for 10 years, been teaching her the last six months or so. This is your practice. Remember, if it's something you can't do, go to your level. Don't do it if you can't do it or modify. All right, we'll give you some options. So we're going to jump right into it and then talk to Rhonda a little bit after. Come to the top of your mats, give you a chance to set up. Top of your mats, remember, this is a 45 minute class. Stay focused, stay present, right? Connect with your breathing. Stand up nice and tall, right? Think Shavasana, the standing pose. So this is Tadasana, which is standing mountain pose. Imagine you're kind of hanging from the ceiling here. Relax. Take this first few moments to connect with your breath. Let's come into prayer pose. Prayer pose, soften the shoulders, pull through the core. Good, now remember, inhales match the exhales, right? Stay connected to your breath. Try to listen to your breath the entire practice. That helps you stay focused, stay present. It's a 45 minute class. Again, go to your level. Good, just close your eyes for a second. A couple deep breaths, get you a chance to set your mat. Focus, good, really nice. Excellent. We're gonna start with a balancing pose. Open your eyes, hands in prayer. Right, she's gonna come up off her heels, right? Now I'm gonna, this is the only time I'll tell you to grip with your toes. Pick a point of focus. If you're looking in a mirror, hopefully not, you're looking at us, <laughs> right? Think, relax, but from the waist down, you're in cement, you're very rooted. We're gonna close your eyes for five seconds. It's challenging, but you can do it, ready? Let's close your eyes for five, four, three, two, one, release. <laughs> That's what happens. We're gonna do it again real quick. So again, if you fall out, no problem. This is what happens. Here we go, let's try it again. Up off your heels. Close your eyes for five, four, three, two, one, release. Nice, let's sweep the arms up. Sweep them up and swan dive forward. Nice and easy, good. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, palms of your elbows, Uttanasana. Just hang there. Bend your knees a little bit, your first Uttanasana. With the, with the knees together, right? You're a little tight with the legs. Good, release the hands. You're gonna heel toe your feet all the way off the mat. We're gonna start with a pretty cool a little sequence I call temple pose. But first, palms of your elbows. This is a super wide-legged Uttanasana forward bend, trapping the crown down again. If you're not ready to straighten your legs, don't straighten your legs, no worries here. Good, release your hands to the ground. Now bend your knees a lot as you walk your hands through behind you, trying to take your crown to the ground. Again, deep stretch, feel what's going on. Stay connected with your breath, feel what's happening. Nice, walk the hands forward. For temple prep, she's gonna pivot her feet out, toes gonna roll out, elbows the knees. And she's gonna hold right there. See how she's elongating the spine? Look straight down, like there's a steel rod going through your crown. I like to think opening the hips here, sinking a little deeper, taking into the low back, the sacrum. Good, for temple pose, she's gonna tip up hands in prayer, okay, or goddess pose, and then tip back up, lean back, hands in prayer. Is that prayer? Prayer, there we go, wow. We don't practice these in <laughs> advance. So this is temple or goddess pose here. Then sink a little deeper. Love this pose here, this little sequence. She's gonna sweep up and straighten the legs, coming into an X, nice. And then sweep back down, hands in prayer. Honey, what's happening? Back to hands in prayer. Oh. Uh, yeah, there you go, <laughs> sink down. Good, we, there, here we go. Sweep up and then sweep back down. Just not doing it, but I'm gonna show you. We're gonna sweep up and then sweep back down, right? Sweep up. And then sweep back down. Let's hold right there. This is your temple. And arms out to the side. Think relaxing your shoulders, right? Now let's bend your elbows like she's doing. Wow, what a great student already. Let's go steeple grip. <laughs> steeple grip, right? Sink a little deeper. Excellent. Then go hands through prayer as you dive forward. Pivot the heels out, straightening your legs. Forward bend. Left palm to the ground. Right palm up. Good, little side stretch here, excellent. Right palm down, left palm up. Just a little stretch here, good, excellent. Good, slowly lower down. Heel to your feet to as wide as your mat, but off the mat, good. Palms to your elbows, Uttanasana. I love to go through this little airplane sequence, but right here, just forward bend, relax. Good, now she's gonna bend her knees, squat her butt, fly the arms up for airplane, straight out, straight out to the side for airplane. Now think, 
flat back. Think about sort of sinking in between your legs. I like to think a downhill racer, skier, puts his arms down. Sweep the arms forward for low chair. Good, see how she spins the palms up to the ceiling, sinking a little deeper. Then cactus arms, get a little heart opener. Look up and slowly clasp behind your back, forward bend. Good, and straighten the legs, forward bend. You don't have to straighten all the way if you're not there yet. Nice, now release the hands down to the ground. Heel to your feet, hip distance apart. So we're just evolving this. Palms to your elbows, Uttanasana, forward bend, hanging, palms to your elbows. Nice, relax, maybe swaying side to side, a little bit side to side. Good, release the hands down, coming into that airplane pose. Bend your knees, squat, arms straight out. Good, lower the heart, so she's a flat back here, looking straight down. Crown, imagine there's a steel rod here. Sweep the arms forward. Good, this is low chair. Cactus arms, nice. Slowly clasp behind your back, forward bend again. Again, each time, maybe straightening the legs, coming a little deeper with this. Good, release your hands down to the ground. Heel toe your feet together, coming right into airplane pose. Bend your knees, squat your butt, fly the arms out. Super flat back, squeeze the knees together. The knees like to come apart here. Sweep the arms forward, low chair. The knees really like to come apart here. Squeeze them together, cactus arms. Good, now class behind your back. One more time, forward bend with the legs together. It's a deeper stretch. Release the high chair pose. Sweep it up the high chair pose. And then a swan dive forward as she touches down. Good, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, squat it down. We're gonna form a little diamond with your, with your feet. So she's squatting down, forming a little diamond here, a little bit of more balance. Remember, with Tola Yoga, hands in prayer, and she's able to go right to prayer. That's all right, and then wherever you are with that, and we're gonna go straight up with that, if you can, straight up, right, and hold. Let's hold here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, bring it all the way down, then walk it back or hop it back to plank if you're ready. Your first plank, and then lower on a five count. Five, four, all the way to the ground. Three, two, one. Soft cobra, and then back to downward facing dog. Your first down dog of the day. So what we're doing in this practice, five parts. There's balancing, yoga stretches, which we'll get to. There's core strengthening, right, which we'll talk about, and uh, foundation poses. I mean, this practice for you, again, go to your level, go to your edge, and abdominals, of course, love abs. Love abs. All right, here we go. Inhale, right leg high to the sky, bend the knee, open it up. We're just opening, we're stacking right hip over left, and we're loosey-goose in that knee, soft right, first opening pose, side body stretch, super slow, right knee to nose. She's gonna round it. Now think cat pose here. Haven't done any cat poses yet, but think cat pose, eating that knee. One set here for five, four, three, two, one. Shoot it back up to the sky, reset your down dog, over to the other side. Inhale, left leg up, bending the knee, open this up. Good, remember, relaxing down, trying to stack left hip over right. Good, super slow, knee to the nose, like you're gonna eat that knee for five. Let's hold, four, three, two. Shoot it back up to the sky. Lower down, awesome. Let's inhale, plank, one more time, lower. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale up, back, downward facing dog. You got it, here we go. Relax here, remember, downward facing dog, you're an upside down V, relax your shoulders, relax your heels to the ground, pull through your core, excellent. On the inhale, bend your knees, look up. Exhale, step walk, hop it to the front of your mat. Nice, inhale, flat back, exhale, fold. Coming all the way up, sweep it up, all the way up, she's coming up. Good, hands in prayer, heart center, just hold right there, close your eyes, reset. Remember, stay focused this entire practice, stay present. Good, open your eyes. On the inhale, let's sweep up, inhale up, exhale, dive it forward, however you like, good. Inhale, flat back, let's take it back, walk it, hop it back, plank, chaturanga, lower through, excellent. Inhale up, exhale back, downward facing dog. Right side warrior one, inhale, right leg up. Let's bring it through, your first warrior one of the day, so think hips are facing forward, right? I like to think, again, this is your practice, I like to get this knee to a right angle, and then at the same time, 
So we're gonna bring it back a little as she sinks into that right. I like to think there's a wall here and there's a wall here. Good, straight back leg, straight back leg, good. Warrior two, open up, soften your shoulders, sink a little deeper, nice. Reverse warrior, tipping it up. It's our first one of the day, so however you wanna go, relax a little bit. Now windmill all the way through for plank, chaturanga, take it through, nice. Just getting started here, so we're just waking up the body. Back, downward facing dog. Other side, ready? Inhale, left leg up. Bring it through for warrior one. Step, pivot the back foot. Inhale up, hold. Good. Again, thinking there's a wall here, there's a wall here. Relaxing your shoulders. Pull through the core. At all times, you can take a gut check there. Warrior two, we're opening up. Where is your gaze? Over your middle finger, that's called your dristi. And try to really bring that chin forward right that's a little tricky the neck gets a little tight reverse tip it up nice good windmill all the way through let's take it through plank chaturanga excellent inhaling up back downward facing dog good couple of breaths here nice think upside down v pulled through the core and think that there's a string attached to your waist and someone pulling it from the far corner Good. Right side low lunge. Inhale, right leg up. Take it through for a low lunge step. Relax the back knee. Sweep up, low lunge. And always relax those back toes. Good. Excellent. Pull through here. Again, pull through the core. Relax your shoulders. Let's reach up for prayer. Bring it down through heart center. Right palm to knee. Left side down. She's twisting open. Right arm up. She's able to engage that back leg. Now think, if you want to keep the knee on the ground, that's fine. Again, go to your level. And then think, push out through this back heel, right? A lot of students, they come up off that. They want to engage there. Nice. Breathe. Twist here. If you're pregnant, no deep twist. Remember that? Good. Sweep that right hand down. Now, Rhonda is a runner, so this is called a runner's stretch. Straightening front leg, nose to knee. I bet you run about 10 miles today? Nine. Nine miles. She's running the what, Chicago Marathon. <laughs> So think, softening down, you don't have to straighten that leg. Good, we're gonna evolve this pose. Left side down and then right arm up. Again, if not, you could take that on to the sacrum. Just show that. You could go right to the sacrum, hold this pose here. You don't have to straighten that leg or go back up with that arm, right? So she sweeps, she's able to reach up. Now think straight line, wrist to wrist. Nice, pulling through the core. Good. Slowly lower right hand down as you bend the right knee. Relax the left knee. We're going to come into a half split. We could use that. So half split. Relax your toes. See, she's, she's in the high version. Let me show you the low version. The low version is when you sit the butt back. Nice. So either or. Right. That's the lower version. If you want to take it into the low version or stay high, if you're able to do a high, a full split, this is called Ardha Hanumanasana. But wherever you are with this, good. Think flex your foot, nose to knee, and now take your time coming back to plank chaturanga. All right, let's take it through. Shoot it, boom. There you go. Nice. Now see, elbows are in, back, downward facing dog. Other side, ready? Inhale, left leg high to the sky, bring it through for low lunge. Step, relax the back knee, sweep it up. Good. Relax your shoulders, pull through your core. Relax your toes. You're not gripping with your toes. Good. Reach up for that prayer as she brings it through heart center. Left palm to knee, right side down. Good. And then twist it open. Engage the back leg. Push out through the back heel. And think, that leg likes to drop a little. Try not to drop that back leg. Most students, when they're in this high lunge position, they sort of drop that hip. Try to stay engaged. Remember, straight line, wrist to wrist. So you're thinking, it's practice, heavy feet, light heart. So I like to think you're hanging from the ceiling here, not caving down. Good, sweep that arm down for the runner's stretch. It's like a lunge stretch, straightening that leg. Runner stretch there, Rhonda. This way, remember this one? Oh, yep. yeah, I think you're a little brain dead today. But no worries, <laughs> good. This is a runner stretch here, straightening in because everything we do on one side, we do on the other. Good, and then she's lifting up. Excellent. Again, you could always go to the sacrum or keep that arm up. No worries. If you're not straightening, you know, the legs stay straight, but you can bend them however you like. Nice. Breathe. Good. Now let's take it through to the half split. Good. 
wants to jump ahead here, but no, we're okay. Think, breathe, deep inhales, deep exhales, forward bending. She's doing the version where you're sitting back down. You do not have to sit down in this pose. And hey, thanks for uh, everyone who's been writing in, who's been watching the shows. I had a guy right in, a police officer, retired after 25 years, excited to do yoga. Way to go, man. Don't be afraid of this practice. Awesome practice. Excellent. Good. Let's take it through. Take the time taking it back to plank, chaturanga, lower through. Awesome. Inhaling up, back, downward facing dog. Excellent. Right side, warrior one. Inhale, right leg up, bring it through. Warrior one. Kind of alternating these. Nice. Warrior two. Good. Reverse warrior. Nice. Back to warrior two. Class behind your back for exalted warrior. She's going to inhale up and then dive forward. Shoulder to knee. Just resting right there. Nice. Very good. Release the hands to the inside of the left foot. Take it to the inside of the left foot. What we're going to do is, we're going to do a hip stretch. He's going to walk those fingertips out. Good. Now keep this knee from coming with you as you walk it back. I like to think there's a rectangle here, and she's going along that line. Right. And keep this knee. This is a hip opener. If you have knee issues, you want to take that knee with you, but right now she's good. So think, if you're feeling it in the hips, it's working. Really good. Relax your crown down. Now let's walk it forward. Straightening out over that front leg, we're going to revolve your triangle. You can stay right here or left side down, right arm up. It's a deeper twist when you have that foot pivoted down to the ground. Straight line, wrist to wrist. Good. This is a revolved triangle. Really good hip stretch here. Again, take it easy with that leg if you're really tight. Now, nice and easy, take it through. Plank, chaturanga. Awesome. Lowering through. Inhaling up. Back, downward face. Always getting a deep stretch in here. Other side, ready? Inhale, left leg up. Take it through, warrior one. Step, pivot, inhale up. Nice. Excellent. Warrior two. Good. Reverse. Nice. Warrior two. Good. Class behind your back for exalted warrior. Inhale up and dive. Nice. Excellent. Breathe. Relax. Good. Release the hands to the inside of the left foot. Sink a little deeper, taking it out to this corner over here. Remember, there's a rectangle, and she's going to walk it back without taking that knee with you. Most students, they like to come out of that knee and they bring it with you. But this, again, if you're feeling it, it's working. That's this pose. You got it? Nice. Deep inhales, deep exhales. Let's walk it forward. Straightening over that front leg. You could stay right there if you want, or revolving your triangle. Good. Right side down, left arm up, straight line. Back leg stays pivoted to the ground. It's easy. You want to kind of open it up, but stay with it if you can. Nice. And then slowly plank, chaturanga, down dog, and then we're going to take our first child's pose here. Nice. Anytime you need a child's pose, child's pose, the big toes together, knees really wide, softening back, right? Always waking up the the low back, the sacrum area. Anytime you need to take a child's pose, take a child's pose. And in your practice too, remember, teachers, I say this all the time, we're like snowflakes, everybody's different. So take what you can from this teacher, myself, bring it into your practice if you like it, but if you like doing it another way, do it your way. It's your practice. That's what's great about it. And every day is a different day, right? Your body feels different every single day. We're gonna come into what's called broken toe pose. So sit up, Rhonda requested this. So think hero's pose. Now you're going to curl your toes under. I'm going to show you from right here. See how the toes, we've done this before in previous classes, right? Try not to dump into the low back, pull through the core. Good. Flat back. Like to think in between two planes of glass and relax your butt and then go straight up. Steeple grip straight up to the sky. Good. And I like to think again, two planes of glass. Only doing one set of these. This is great, ladies, if you're wearing high heels. Guys, if you're wearing high heels, no worries. Here we go, for a 10 count, close your eyes. Ready, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it down through hard center. Let's tap out those toes. Just gonna tap it out. There you go. Should we do the counter pose? Why not? All right, counter pose to this. This is even more painful. All right, you're gonna sit back. 
So you're gonna sit back and now you're gonna position your hands like you're in reverse plank, right? So the hands are here, I'll do that with you. Then you come up on the toes. Now she can go, I can go further. And now think, dropping the crown back and opening up through the heart. You don't have to really lift the hips. Let's hold there for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come down. You can shake out those feet if you like, and then back to downward facing dog. That's a tricky one, but that's really good to work on those feet. Excellent. Good. I think we need to get a side plank in here. Feet together. Good. Inhale, plank. It's called Vashistasana. Right hand down, pivot to the outsides of your feet. Can you stack your feet or one in front of the other? Yeah, she's got a version where one in front of the other side, plank, really good here. Step it back for rock star pose. See how she's lifting her hips, reaching for the front of the room. Really like this, a little bit of a back bend. Take it back through plank. Let's hold your plank here. Set it up and chaturanga, lower through. We know what the chaturanga is, right? Inhaling up, back, downward facing dog. Nice. Feet together, inhale, plank. Other side, left side plank, Vashistasana. Don't worry about the Sanskrit though. I mean, when I started 10 years ago, it was all about the Sanskrit language. So remember, try not to drop the hips below parallel. Excellent, really good. Step it back, rock star. She's stepping it back, lifting the hips, reaching for the front, heart opener here. Let's take it through. Plank and on your own, chaturanga lower through. Nice, way to go, Rhonda. Excellent. Inhaling up, back, downward facing dog. Awesome. On the inhale, bend your knees, look up. Exhale, step, walk, hop to the front. Good. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, full high chair pose. Let's come into high chair. A little balancing pose here. Come off your heels, right? She's going to hold there. Let's just hold for five, four, three, two. Dive it forward. Nice. Inhale, flat back. Shoot it back. Plank, chaturanga. There we go. Excellent. Always want to get the balancing in. Back, downward facing dog. Right side high lunge. Inhale, right leg up. Bring it through for high lunge. Good. And in a high lunge, right, back legs engaged. You don't have to straighten that back leg if you're not ready for it, but wherever you are, let's reach up for prayer through heart center for warrior three. Just going to tip it forward. Warrior three balancing. Great balancing pose. Flex that back foot. Try to keep your hips flat. Nice. Yep, just like that. And then half moon, right side down. This left foot pivots out. You want to think left foot's perpendicular to the right foot. Nice. Good. Standing split. Standing split. Think about pointing your toes and squaring the hips to the ground. That's what I like to do there. Nice. Breathe. Then slowly step it back for plank, chaturanga, lower through. Excellent. Good. Not, we're not going as challenging today as maybe the last class. Back to downward facing dog. Here we go. Other side. Inhale, left leg up. High lunge. Remember, high lunge. You do not have to straighten that back leg if you're not ready for it. And again, wherever you are in today, if you live to the age of 80, what, uh, what is it, 80? You got 28,000 days, so... Every day is different. Reach up for prayer. Bring it through heart center. Tip it forward. Warrior three. Warrior three, you're trying to create a T-like formation. Good. Flex that back foot. I like to think. Try to drop that right hip a little bit. Nice. Excellent. Half moon. Arda Chandrasa. She pivots this foot out. Good. Reaching up. Nice. Excellent. Good. Dive it standing split. Think nose to knee here, point your toes, trying to go even further, and then slowly stepping it back for plank. Good. Chaturanga, lower throat. Excellent. Inhale up, back, downward facing dog. Right side, warrior one. Inhale, right leg up for warrior one. Step it through. Nice. Warrior two. Good. Reverse, warrior. Warrior two for triangle. Let's set it up for triangle. I wasn't sure I was going to do this today. Triangle pose. Think reach forward. Triangle. Yep, you got it. And then, right. See how with triangle pose, these are triangles. Under the arm, the legs. 
Good. Back to warrior two. Clasp behind your back. Good. Inhale up. Dive it forward. Exalted warrior. Remember, we did this forward with the stretch. Good. Release warrior one. Sweeping it up. Warrior two. Yeah, reverse. And then windmill all the way through. Excellent. Take it through. Plank. Chaturanga. Nice. Other side, when you're ready, inhale, left leg up, bring it through, warrior one. Nice. I like to think we're underwater coming up, warrior two, good, reverse, nice, warrior two, triangle, nice, warrior two, clasp behind your back, inhale up, dive, exalted warrior, Good. Release. Warrior one. Warrior two. Nice. Reverse. And windmill all the way through. Take it through. Plank. Chaturanga. Nice. Inhale. Back. Downward facing dog. Right side high lunge. Inhale. Right leg up. Bringing it through. High lunge. <clears throat> Keep evolving these poses. Now, I call this Superman arms. The arms are going to go behind you and plant your palms as she takes it into warrior three. This is actually a little bit easier than having the arms forward. Nice. Good. Half moon. Right side down, left side up. We're going to revolve the moon today. So, left side down, right arm up. Now, that back foot pivots to warrior three legs. Nice. Good. Right side down, we're gonna go back to high lunge. Nice, steps it back, high lunge. Warrior two, good, reverse. And then windmill all the way through. We do have a child's pose coming up, let's take it through, right on the other side. Inhale up, back, downward facing dog. Other side when you're ready, inhale, left leg up, high lunge, step. Wow, you're getting a workout in that <laughs> Superman arms as she tips it forward first and then warrior three. Take your time. Again, everything you do here, go to where your love is and it's okay if you touch down. Half moon. Good. Flex that back foot. Outwardly spiral. Nice. Revolve the moon. Again, back leg turns to warrior three. Left arm up. Good. As she steps it back to high lunge. Nice. High lunge. Good. Warrior two. Nice. Reverse. Windmill all the way through. Plank. Chaturanga. Down dog. Child's pose. Didn't realize it was going to be that hard today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to have fun with your practice too. I mean, so many students, you know, one of my, one of my uh, friends who's a, good, is a really good teacher, uh, always says the hardest pose is to smile, right? So you gotta have fun with your practice. Smile, relax. Hmm. I don't know. I'm wondering where do we want to go next? <laughs> you know, that's what's great. I've been teaching for 10 years. I never really mapped these things out. So, especially with these classes, I want it to be organic. All right, let's come back to downward facing dog. And again, anytime a teacher calls downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Shavasana, anytime you call it, you could stay. In child's pose, if that's where you want to be. On the inhale, bend your knees, look up. Exhale, step walk, hop to the front. Good. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Heel to your feet out for squat pose, for malasana. Malasana is temple pose, but shorter. It's going to squat it down for squat pose here. Good. Now, can you tip it back? I like to take it, well, wherever she is. I like to take it. That's one version of squat. Let me show you. My version is I go higher in this pose. I stay higher in this pose. Good. Now, fingertips down to the ground. Lift your butt a little bit as you walk the fingertips forward. Good. Think taking it into the low back stretch here. Nice. Breathe. Good. No, I don't think we called this one yet, Rhonda. Take the hands back. We're going to fly the arms. See how the arms go underneath the knees. Take it underneath the knees. Right, and now think you're going to try to get your chin to the ground. This is a good hip stretch here. Nice. Good. Slowly touch down, hands to the ground, and then bring them right in front of you as you straighten your legs. So straighten the legs for Uttan wide-legged Uttanasana. Heel toe your feet, hip distance apart. 
Palms to your elbows for Uttanasana. Yeah, let's just have one of those here. Good. Release your hands down to the ground. Heel toe your feet together. And now clasp behind your legs. So this is a little deeper Uttanasana. Maybe for your elbows or your wrists here. Good. Good. Release it down. Squat it down. Second set with the diamond. Good. Squat it down. Bring a little diamond. See how she's creating between the balls of the feet and the heels. Hands in prayer. Good. Always with some balancing. No worries. Wherever you are. Can you go up with that? Nice. Let's hold. For Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Hands through heart. And then boat pose. Take it back to boat pose. All right. So with boat pose, she's going to flex her feet. Like the thing. Right angles, knees are at right angles, pull through the core, good. And then try to pick a point and focus up here, and let's hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Grab behind your knees, and you're going to rock it a few times on either side, rock it. Good, she's going to rock it a few times. You have lines of energy on your spine, and then coming back to boat pose again. Good, and then when she comes in to settle up in boat, maybe you could straighten the legs. I think you're able to, right? Flex your feet. Yeah, you don't have to get to this place. You can keep them bending a little bit. Another boat, use that core. You're like a V here. Ready for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hug behind your knees again, and then lay back on your back. Hug your knees in for a sec here. Just hug your knees in. We're gonna come into half boat. So nice script. So for half boat, extend the feet out, right? Palms, put them under your butt first, and then lower your feet. See how she's creating this little bowl effect here, and then she's able to lift her palms off the ground, right? There you go. So this is your half boat. Can you lower a little more? Oh, all right, maybe. Okay, doesn't matter where the legs go. Here we go. This is half boat. Ready? For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, hug your knees in. Nice. Rock a little side to side. <laughs> it's like, what the hell? <laughs> All right. Let's go happy baby pose. Reaching for the outside edges of your feet, getting your thighs to the ground. Nice. We're going to break it down here. Now that we're on the ground, do some stretching, some abs, right? Here we go. Go with the yogi toe lock. Two piece fingers on your big toes. Big V. Call that the big V. Love this little sequence here. Soles of the feet together. Good. Try to curl up in each of your toes. Hey, you know, I want to give a shout out to Ellen and Wendy Williams. I wrote to both of them yesterday. Eh, you know, think maybe I can go teach them on their show. Eh, you never know. What do you think? Why not? Why not? <laughs> Ellen, you could wear your sneakers too. <laughs> and uh, Wendy, I don't know. High heels? Uh, maybe not. All right. Hug behind your legs now. So go for behind your legs. Good. Let your heels flop down. Excellent. Now step your feet on the ceiling. We're going to just take a moment here. This is legs up the wall, Viparani Karini. Imagine you have the ropes and you're just hanging. Now think arms in Shavasana arms. Good. This is, again, if you're, if you're standing all day, if you're in the service business, anybody, if you're working where you're standing all the time, my father's a barber, hey, you want to be doing this. You can do it up against the wall. Now close your eyes here. Just to take a few moments. Just relax, but now turn this into an active pose, meaning push your sacrum into the ground. Relax your feet, but engage your core as you're pushing those five fused vertebrae at the base of your spine, sort of mash them in. So you're engaging the core, legs up the wall. If you were using a wall here, it's much easier. You don't have to do the engagement, but love this to be an active pose. Most of yoga, they're active poses. Even if you think you're relaxed, you want to engage something, but you want to relax the muscles that you're not using. Good. Again, close your eyes, relax, legs up the wall. Great for digestion, circulation, tension, hypertension. This is a great pose. I do this every day. Really, really good. Nice. Stay connected with your breath. Stay in this space. You know, a teacher, whenever you're in child's pose or anything like this, don't let your mind drift away. Stay focused. All right. Now, flex your feet. Let's go with a steeple grip, doing a little bit of abs. She's going to reach up for her toes. We're going to reach up, coming off the ground. Ready? For 10. Hold this pose. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hug your knees into your chest. 
Good. Soft spinal twist. Cactus arms. Boom. Float the knees over to the right. Nice. Try to keep your feet stacked. See how the feet are stacked, right? Look over to the left. So I always want to look in the opposite direction. Good. Let's bring the knees through to the other side. Everything we do on one side, we do on the other. Look to the right. Nice. Excellent. Let's hug your knees back in. Step your feet on the ceiling. Big V. We're going to take your palms to your inner hamstrings. Inner hamstrings. She's going to cheat using your biceps, taking your chin forward. Flex your feet, outwardly spiral. Hold here. Ready? As. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hug your knees in. Nice. Step them right back on the ceiling. Good. This time, palms under your butt. We're going to cheat here. Keep the legs think perpendicular. Now, using your elbows to prop you up, chin to your thighs. This is a good one because you can cheat here, but think the bowl effect. Ready? For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hug your knees into your chest. Good. Now, step your feet right on the ground. Think bridge pose, but you're not coming into bridge just yet. We are going to do bridge today. So, she's going to go with a steeple grip straight above those knees. And then lift your toes right here. Love this. Did this in the last class. The Amy was doing this. Here we go. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lay back down. Soles of the feet together. Arms in Shavasana would suit the body. Now, Rhonda does a little pulse effect. You can do that too. I like to hold permanent or pulse. Good. Let's do this. Arm steeple grip through the middle. She's lifting up. Good. So think. Relax your knees. Think you're lifting your hips. Ready? For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lay back down. Right palm to your belly, left palm to your heart. Good. This is soup to body canasana. You could also take child's pose here, but this is a good pose to just relax in. Good. One more. Let's go steeple grip straight up to the sky. Straight up to the sky. Boom. Lift your heart off. Relax your knees. Push that sacrum in. Ready? For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lay back down. Let's switch it up. Left palm to your belly, right palm to your heart. Left palm to your belly, right palm to your heart. There you go. Yeah. Or, or, or that version. I think, again, I don't know. That run must have really... She's an amazing student, but sometimes, you know, you're just like, you know, what I say a lot is I tell students, right hand down, left hand down, I say your other right. Yeah, right? Some right. people, you get to be brain dead here. All right. Slowly bring the knees together. Step the feet as wide as the mat. Heel toe the mat. Windshield wiper. You can go Shavasana arms. Good. Windshield wiper the knees. Nice. Nice and slow. And then heel toe the feet together. Well, actually, step the feet hip distance. We're going to come into bridge pose. Let's do We're going to do two bridge poses today. Not doing full wheel. If you have a full wheel practice, you can do that. Bridge, you should be able to curl up and touch your toes. Okay? Now, she lifts her hips. Now, you're going to clasp, think steeple grip, and you're trying to get your triceps together. Good. Triceps together, lifting the hips, relaxing through your toes. Ready? You don't crunch your chin on this. Let's just hold for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release down. Don't hug your knees in. Whenever you're doing bridge pose, don't hug your knees in right away until you're finished with the bridge. Good. Second set, two sets here. We're gonna lift the hips up. Once we lift the hips up, go for the grip. Right? Now think. Don't crunch the chin. Now she's going to take her right ankle and cross it over. So right ankle right there. Now Lucy goes this right knee. What happens is the right hip drops. This is when you want to squeeze the butt and try to lift it up. So try to lift those hips up to the sky. Hold there for three, two, one. Now step the foot on the ceiling. She's going to try to press into the ceiling by lifting this hip. Ready? Let's hold there for five, four, three, two, one. One, slowly lower down. Reset the other side. Let's reset the other side. She can lower the hips and then come back into it. You can stay up with that. Clasp, going for the grip. Crossing left ankle over right. Lucy goose the right knee. That left hip drops. Try to lift that up here. Just for three seconds. For three, 
two, one. Step the foot on the ceiling. Again, just like she's stepping in cement, leaving your mark on Hollywood Boulevard. Here we go. For five, four, three, two, one. Slowly lower down, release it all. Then you're going to hug your knees into your chest. Just rock a little side to side. Good. Coming down the home stretch here. Good. Let's do another spinal toes. Eagle legs. Plant the right leg. And then left over right. And then you're going to scooch the hips to the left a little and float to the right. Good. And then any variation here, you know, this stretch. Good. Again, ladies pregnant, don't do any deep twists. Definitely, especially not in the second and third trimester. Good. Release it all, coming back through center. Let's switch it up. Left side down, right over left. Scooch to the right, float to the left, look to the right. Whew. I think I've done a lot of these. Now this is great. It's a great twist. Good. Release it all. Come back through center. Happy baby pose. Take outside edges of your feet. Good. Yoga toe lock to the big V. Good. Soles of the feet together. Curl up and eat your toes. Good. Clasp behind your legs. I like this little, little stretch sequence here. Good. And one more spinal twist. Tee out your arms. Float the knees, tee out your arms, and then tee out your legs. Float it over. She's going to tee out her legs, trying to take her feet to the hand, and then look opposite direction. Look to the left. Nice. Love this stretch here, so you're in a T formation. Whenever you come back through center, remember, knees get close to the heart. So slowly come back through center, over to the other side. Tee it out. Nice. This is a good stretch here. Excellent. Good. Bring it back through center. Give yourselves a super, super, super tight squeeze. I like to think one big ball of energy and then release Shavasana. Good. And I'll give her a little adjustment here. All right. Relax. Close your eyes. Up here. Begin to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Reach your arms overhead. Take a big long cat stretch. Stretch everything out. And you'll hug your knees into your chest. Just roll to your right side fetal position. Just take a moment there. Let everything settle. It's always good to keep your eyes closed when you're coming up. We're going to come up to close out our practice. Face forward, any comfortable cross-legged seated position. Sit up nice and tall. Let's go hands in prayer in front of your heart. Just bow your head. Always think great posture here. Relax your shoulders, close your eyes. But way to go, everyone. Making it to the mat's always a great day. Pay homage to yourself for putting in the time, putting in the work. Amazing practice, yoga. There you go. Thanks for having me as your teacher. Thanks for watching. Let's take this energy. It's a collective energy between us. We create all this good vibe. Let's take it, gift it, send it out to someone else who could use it today. Always want to think positive, speak positive, feel positive. Sailing your practice. Battle forward. Namaste. Namaste. All right. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> so, what'd you think of that one, Rhonda? Good. Good. I know I'm a little off today, but everyone has an off day, and you just have to remember. Well, you ran that. nine miles. I right. Mean, yeah. <laughs> Run nine miles and then practice. Yes.
So what else do you do? Let's let's talk about that for a second. Um, I run, obviously, and I do yoga, and I do a, a kind of a cross training, sports training class at the gym. So that's a little of everything: TRX, a little weightlifting, some steps sometimes. Um, ten years of yoga. Yeah. Ten years of yoga fitness for you know Rhonda's. Uh, I don't think you're 18, right? No. No. A couple, couple <laughs> few years older than that. So, uh, but what advice do you give? Someone who's just starting out or someone who's been practicing a bit? What, do you, what advice do you give? Well, definitely don't give up. Every day is a new day. It's a new day for me too, every time I practice. Sometimes I'm in a level one practice, level one position, and sometimes I'm a level three. It just depends on Yeah, the level one, two, three, wherever you are with your practice. You know, if you're a practitioner who's just getting started, you're a level one, level one, two. Some days are different than others. Your balance is off on any particular day. No worries. Don't judge it, right? Never look around you either, right? Don't look, right. At, look around people and see what they're doing. And nowadays, it's all mirrors, right? Everybody's looking in the mirrors. So, exactly. Have fun. Right, and respect your practice. Respect your practice. Respect your body at all times. Awesome. Yep. All okay. right. <laughs> well, thanks again. Tune in for another Tola Yoga, and we'll see you soon. Peace.